minions. Greetings, gentle viewers. We have two of the unmasked minions here. We have Teddy, and we have the avatar of decent humor. Yes, we are recording. Hello. And they were brought amazing things, wonderful things from America by the Omega. Now, I want you both to look this sort of way and be in awe of the picture of Omega that I'm going to put there in post-production. Goodbye. <gasps> it's amazing. She brought an entire bag full of things. I'm going to be off camera grabbing them and showing you um, close-ups because you are mostly going to be Americans, so you'll just be able to watch these idiots who right, are not American. You try them. them from the bag and bring it to us. One moment. Um, because... We would be aware we may be attacked by cats. Yeah, there's a couple of cats and like one that. of them's high. Yeah. Now, both we, um, neither of these people are Americans, so you can be all like, oh my god, they don't have Reese's peanut butter flavored Whoppers. Ha ha ha, let's laugh at their, their f funny European faces. Reese's peanut butter flavored Whoppers? Yep, I'm going a bit closer to... Reese's cubes or pubs here, right? Yes, we do like it. So this is the first thing. Ooh, look at the Tagon's hand. It's important be impressed. other brands are available. Ooh. Let's have a look. What cat? They look like peanut butter flavored Maltesers. Mm, do you have Maltesers in the States? No. Really? Maltesers are oh, awesome. Maltesers. Like Maltesers. Malte well, that you can get them, but they're not very common. And they call them malt balls, as far as I'm aware. I have iron brew. Malt balls. Rip off iron brew. This is not actually in honor of the great yeah. state of Maine. This is an. Northern Irish soft drink company. Exactly like malt t-shirts. Yep. And there's malt t-shirts with peanut butter. Exactly. Peanut that butter sounds, that sounds curious. I would like to try one of it these. It isn't a very strong peanut buttery taste either. No. It's like a malt teaser with a very vague... What is it with Americans and all their... everything in like cardboard boxes? The malt's very strange too. It's better than also in plastic. It's better for the environment. Defattened or defatted peanuts? Defatted? Is that even a word? I don't believe so. Talk about defenestrated peanuts. They've only been partially defatted. Oh. Peanuts that you have broken by throwing them out a window. They're okay. Nah, not to my taste. Okay, Teddy likes these. This is this is They're for okay. Teddy. Yeah, I wouldn't go in my way. Teddy, can eat the rest of them? At some point. <laughs> now we have Mike and Dyke. Limited edition strawberry reunion. Limited edition? Woo! <laughs> you stop that. Okay, there's no obvious way to open it, so. Cardboard. Eat it. You'll be fine. I give this cardboard a D. <laughs> Taste of cardboard. You need a knife, dear. No. Um, they're like jelly beans, so hand up. Different colours too, so. Oh, easy, easy. And I think that there's only the three flavours, so. Yellow one. I'll try yellow too then. Tasty. Tastes exactly like jelly beans. Now, this one. This looks like a jelly belly cinnamon. I have a box of them with theirs now. What is that orange? It is. I'm disappointed. Yeah, they're just like jelly beans. So I got the oh, feeling that much. both of them will eat the rest of these, but they will not feel impressed while they do it. Oh, just jelly they're nice, they're yeah. like, <sighs> yeah, it's 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 Jelly bellies are better. Ah. We can't get them here. I have to get a bloody stack of them whenever I go to the States. They're right. Right. You, can, to my yeah. you can. There's like a, there's, there's like cool. American shops and stuff. I know, but they're not that common. There's one in uh, Belfast. What's next? Hmm. Nice, but could be better. Oh, now this is one of the horrors of American culture. Necco wafers! Oh, no! So these look like, what are those things called? The heart thing? They're love hearts? Yeah. Nowhere near as good as refreshers or love hearts or parma they violets. They look like something we love have here called love hearts. Parma violets are brilliant. 
The violet ones are okay, but love hearts are just chalk. They really, really look like them, and they've got the same type of. You gotta take your back, Nicola, after you try these. This is much worse. Much worse. When I was in Philadelphia, I tried a violet flavored oh, soda at the Franklin Fountain. I also tried rose flavored soda there. I must go into Philly next time I'm over with Omega. What an odd texture. Does this have any taste? You want taste as well? That costs a lot more. Well, the one I got is licorice. Or you know who needs who needs taste? Socialists. This is purple. We are socialists. <laughs> is this what purple tastes like? Because it doesn't have a taste. The purple tastes like violet. Or grape. Yeah, I ain't gonna be buying any of these. Mm -hmm. I like taste with my sweets. Oh, they are fat free though. Well, that's wonderful. Maybe that's where all the taste went. Yeah. Okay, now we have. It's like powdery licorice. Vanilla flavored cow tails. Now, I honestly do not recall ever seeing this whenever I was over, but it's goats' so, um... Oh! I got the taste now! Goatsy! I had to rip it to pieces and chew it to all the hell, and then I got a taste. It says Goatsy right there. That's now, I think this is a Philadelphia, a Pennsylvania company. So, you got vanilla flavored uh, with caramel, chewy caramel and a cream center. Okay. To one each. Or you can open one and then both try part of it. I think it's already split in the middle. Yeah, it's a bit. I already got this one open. Do you want to throw me that one then, Teddy? Teddy? Do you want me to throw that one? Yeah. It actually does look like a good head. <laughs> Tusty bit off Colin. Tusty bit of girl for me. Mmm. Mmm. It's quite tasty. Quite tasty, but a bit unsubstantial. Omega, thus far you are failing. You were supposed to bring things that everyone that they would hate. <clears throat> Standard caramel on the outside, which is nice. And is that just um, cream in the middle, or mm -hmm. yeah. vanilla cream? No. Uh, the vanilla flavor just disappears after the first few bit, after the first few bites. I mean, I wouldn't again. I wouldn't go out of my way to get it, but I get an actual thing of. Uh, I shall think of caramel. I tell you, if I come across in if America when I go on Christmas again, if I come across some of the Swedish uh, mm. Jungmust, I think it's called, or Jungawist, it's that's something that me and Omega found whenever we were over there, and it is Swedish. It was fucking terrible. We gave a bottle to Justin, and he did a let's try, and he liked it. But I'm going to totally bring one back so you guys can be tortured by it. Yeah, but the last time you tried to torture me with strange foreign drinks, I liked it. God damn it! What? Okay, next. Calories for this. Quite good. Okay, next. This is one of Omega's favorites. Oh, this is something I've been wanting to try for a long time. Caramel corn, which is apparently a big thing over in those United States of. Yeah, every corn cartoon land. you see, whenever they talk about candy or have a, a wide shot, you always see these little things just kind of pop, pop up. Well, we do similar little candy things that we have. They're usually gummy, though. Oh my god. Eat more Omega. Eat more. I'm, I'm, ah, eat more Avatar of Decent Humor, Nicola. I thought we were trying to convince people that me and Amanda were not the same person. What is that taste? I eat recognize it. I it's see. pure sugar. I see the it's hatred. Sugar, it's syrup. Yeah, there's some. I see the hatred in your face, Nicola. Eat more. Ooh. Eat more. It's, it is literally just caramelized sugar. And there is no flavor to this. Like this is your sweets, America? Seriously? <coughs> I'm being affected from across the room. Ah, vomit, vomit, vomit. There's something, no, there's something we have here that tastes exactly like this. I think it's something either from the, all these Peter Roses. You mean the banana things? What are these? You know what this means? You're going to have to go out and buy some no, quality street and roses. The sugar cake decorations. Ah, there we go. Cake decorations is nice. This is, this is literally caramelized sugar. We only have these on top of cakes because they are ridiculously amounts of sugar and 
stupid and flavorless and spit. And the cat is eating the speaker. So, so I got the, yeah. I got the feeling that that it's, might um, finish up. Flavorless! Actually, They're going to bake a cake and stick it on top. I confuse Neil. Give me my third energy. Okay, next. Other energy drinks are available. Next we have... Oh, wow. well, I've not tried peeps for a long time. What is a peep? It's like a little marshmallow thing covered oh, in... Do you like peeps from those little... Uh, knitted things. The knitted things are knitted. Peeps are a particular shape. The knitted Hagen and Teddy are actually the shape of peeps. Yeah, they're like the bunny rabbits and the little chicks. So the little famous. Yeah, it's chicks and it's marshmallow chicks and rabbits. And, and I don't want to try these. And this is like a pumpkin version because it's Halloween. This is. It's Halloween. not Halloween. 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 It's Halloween in about three weeks. This is Halloween sweets mostly. In this town we call home, everyone. I like to the texture there. I can already tell what it really tastes like. Well, it's marshmallow. Yeah. With uh, with sugar on the outside. I mean, peeps are fine. There's a peep sh there's a peep shop uh, pretty much outside the door when you go to go to, Ma to Magfest. I don't like the sugar. It detracts from the taste of the marshmallow. Um, other than that, it's just sugary marshmallow. So, the avatar of decent humor is taking the rest of them. That's fine, you can have them. If you give me some money, I will buy you some peeps at Magfest because there's a shop literally down there. American the road. Minion is, uh, has sent me a box of peeps. A box? A, a box of peeps, of almond M&Ms, of pretzel M&Ms, and all these American sweets. Because I, I sent her a box of dairy milk and Maltesers and all that there. What it says, are better? The American M&M &M that is best is peanut butter. Yeah, yeah, I do like peanut butter. Even though I hate... I mean, I like... I, Americans have this obsession with putting peanut butter in everything. And there's nothing wrong with that because it tends to improve a lot of uh, chocolate. Like, I don't but like... Their chocolate is horribly better in chocolate. Yeah, I mean, putting in our chocolate's good too. It tastes mm -hmm. nice. Well, I do not like peanut, peanut butter, butter, so the fact that I like peanut butter m and so much is just weird. I don't like pretzels, so I figured there might be a chance that I'd like pretzel m and just as much. I didn't. I don't like pretzels. They were pretzels. evil. I like the, the German pretzel, the crunchy one. I'm Which, not a fan of soft pretzels. He's complaining about soft pretzels or saying I don't understand the point of them. Dear gentle, dear gentle viewers, that is exactly what my father said whenever, um, see, the Omega's parents, my parents, me and Omega, went off to Edinburgh for a few days, and whenever, because pretzels, soft pretzels are a big Philly thing, and Omega's parents are from Philadelphia, so they were asking, telling, telling me about soft pretzels. And my, and my father's reaction was pretty much the lines of, Pretzels like popcorn are one of these American things that I do not understand. They are entirely pointless. Anything you add to it to make them tolerable will just make you fat. Something along those lines. Mm. Speaking of uh, sugar and fat, I'm not feeling too well. Oh that was a hell of a lot of sugar. Oh well. The candy corn. Bloody hell. Now I next. I like this since I had my last uh, naughty pie. Do -do -do -do. That's why they're stupid. They're ridiculously amounts of sugar in a tasteless This is why all the, the kids in uh, Halloween shows always end up being sick at the end of the night. Or yes. So here we have three colored coconut Neapolitan coconut slice. So it's basically coke. It looks like, uh, what's the, uh, what is the Scottish thing which is made up of, like, coconut? I forget, but it's like that, but multicolored. Macaroon. Macaroon crossed with, with uh, multicolored. What do you think would happen if we gave the kitten and the feet or uh, one of those uh, pure sugar things? I think we will have a hyper kitten, but considering our cat is uh, not all that sane in the first place, I can't get it. Maybe we should take note to try that. I got the feeling that the cat's it's heart. There's dogs that don't like. Uh, oh, react badly to sugar. chocolate. Oh, the chocolate. Huh? Well, she's eating the cocktail. <laughs> 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 this cat will eat anything. Anything she oh, can God, give her. Oh God, that is horrible. If that cat, if you gave it you some like peeps, coconut. it's it would. Ex I mean, it's not groceries, but Jesus. 
Guys, oh. if the cat ate the peeps, it would get so energized its heart would explode and you would not hear a peep from it ever again. That is terrible! Oh, jeez. <laughs> what did they do to the coconut? Ugh. These two want to declare war in America. I told Omega to bring the stuff that I didn't like. Ugh. Figuring that you two would have a similar palette, probably. Yeah, that's the first thing I don't like, full stop, in the story. But, I right. the... Any day. Sugar, pure sugar things, what are they called again? I the... want to see if they've managed Candy to corn? avoid the ah, flame were, coconut I, I would never touch them again, they're, they're too sugary. Um, what the hell did they put on the coconut? There's no coconut paste in it. <laughs> yeah, some of the things she brought is not similar to stuff I tried, so... Mm. Some of the stuff I really hated, you don't have. Try a Twinkie. Contains sodium metabisulfate. Isn't that banned here? I'm not... Ten. Well, I know what to avoid now. Sodium whatever. I just avoid sodium. Yeah, that's banned here. You can't use that. Oh god, it's time for the toothpaste. Do -do 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 -do. Is that not back to front? It is, yeah. Uh, no, we're seeing the name. Unless I put the names on both sides. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that abomination. Yeah, we'll feed it to the cat. Oh, oh you're drowning in disgusting. stuff. You're drowning. <clears throat> no, I love coconut, but whatever the hell they've pumped oh, that from is disgusting. <coughs> this is going to be bad. This conjured up so many bad images. I remember this episode of Teddy Reviews. <laughs> this is for people for who want lollipops but can't be fucking bothered to deal with a stick. Wow, that's sugary. Funnily enough, that's oh. what I said earlier on today. <laughs> What's what you get for putting half the fucking tube in your Half the tube, my horse. <laughs> yeah, I know that's what it looks like, but still. <laughs> oh boy, that is sugary. This heart attack was brought to um, the by to Teddy by the Avatar by the Omega. God the, damn it! I'm the, tired. I filmed an episode uh, today. Sure. Uh, wow, the aftertaste stays with you quite well in your mouth too. Oh, I prefer my lollipops on a stick. I can't quite form an opinion on it. It's too fucking sugary. I'm gonna ask Omega to bring more stuff that's mm. not here. Yeah, please do. I like some trying true. random sweet things. And some savory things too. Like, they bring some American crisps. I'd be interested in trying the different types of crisps. Honestly, they? their type of crisps. Or, uh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, what are they called over there? Chips. Um, chips. Chips, yeah. I, honestly, their crisps, they have a lot less varieties than us and they're a lot lighter in taste. Ugh, boring. So, pretty much, if we have every single flavor they have Alan, and yeah. more. Do you know what this is made of? <laughs> Corn syrup, citric acid, and water. <laughs> so basically, they the same, but in uh, with more water. Yeah, they just made water make it liquid. Good God. And color red number forty. Oh, color red forty! I do love color red forty. Okay, now this is a bag of individual things. Okay, so it can be a variety of different things. This is interesting. I will experiment with it. Experiment with it. Okay, I'm gonna try and find two of each of these things to give you. Oh no no. Now these. Oh, this is the potato candy. The potato potato caramel fudge type stuff. What? 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 This. this. Sweet <coughs> potato. Yeah. We got we got stuff like this over at the Amish place. Now, in my experience with these, this is a this is a Pennsylvanian thing. Um, in my experience with this. The best part is the potato, which is the white. You've never had. I potato. recognize that name. You have never had These potato. Are the people who did peeps. Yeah. Well, no, they they made something else there. Yeah, but you've never had potato confectionery before. Macaroon bars started off as potato based. I've had potato fudge before. I'm not very sure about her. Alright, she's not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. a bad 
American chocolate flavor thing. Yeah, the outside is a bad American. Well, I'm just reading it. And bad chocolate, vaguely flavored fudge, or not even fudge. Um, red fudge is bad fudge. No. I'm not even sure what the white stuff is, but it's, it's not potato. potato. No, it's ba it's potato based. It started off as potato, it, it was turned into confectionery. Like it started as a potato such a long time ago. And that sugar. fucking Americans got their hands on it and yeah. it all up. Uh, we only have like five minutes left in the tape, so um, after this one I'm going to put an ad break in here, and then we're going to be back because we have a fuckload more for these guys to try. Yeah, it's good. Ad break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we are back for part two. I have dutifully got all these things into into duos, so these guys can try them. There's about seventeen hundred of these. So okay, we have blue things. These are flavor roll twisties, vanilla flavored. I don't feel so good. So <clears throat> too much sugar. You don't have to swallow them. That is just wasteful. Okay. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Vanilla flavored twisties. So, in other words, vanilla flavored blue. Oh, they aren't even blue. That is false advertising. It's just basically going to be okay. vanilla flavored chew it. It's stuck on my teeth. <laughs> yep. Chew it. Well, there's several of these which are the same type of things, but in different flavors. Mm. My god, do they have to put the ingredients on fucking everything? Uh, well, legally, yeah. Yeah, but we don't do that in individual sweets over here. We put it on the know. side of the tun, and that's it. Mm. Again, corn syrup. Here we are with these Europeans and their socialized medicine being all like, oh, I'll eat all the American stuff, so if we die, we can just go and get brought back to life via socialism. Yeah! yeah. We get our stomach pumped and not have to pay 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds? You'd be, good. You'd be lucky in America. Okay, next we have Chick O Stick Crunchy Peanut Toasted Chocolate Butter Chocolate. Crunchy Peanut Butter Toasted Coconut. What? Interesting. What? No. Could that name be any longer? No, no, that's the descriptor underneath the name. They're What's called the chi name? Chico Sticks. So, you put those all together, and how many words you got? Chico, wait, Atkinson's Chico Stick, Crunchy Peanut Butter, something coconut, so, about that's 12. That's going to be the sweet. Good God. You can, listen, you can look for yourself. I mean, can you imagine trying to Google search that? Look for Chico Stick. It's like trying to Google like Balsa Goth song name. It's Ugh. pink. There's nothing here that indicates that it should be pink. Except for the color. Can't even get in the wrapper. Oh, that is a very odd smell. Coming and its off color it? is obvious you know what because it's clear. Like? This looks like one of those breakfast cereal things, but bigger and pink. Yeah, you mean the little pizza roll things? Yeah. Also, mind the kittens where your feeds are. I'm looking down at them. That is not the texture I was expecting. Definitely not. Oh, look at the look at Americans. The the Europeans are confused. They have to eat stuff like this. We have to have something like this. No, we don't, because that is very crappy shredded coconut. <laughs> no, no, not the coconut. The texture. Um, we have something that has this texture. Can't remember. They're confused. Look at them. The only thing redeeming this is the peanut butter bit. This is. There's something really wrong with what you do to your coconut. Yeah, to put it in sweets. Well, we do that too. Possibly because America is actually beside, got some of our parts of it which are in the right tropical region to have their own coconuts. So that's actually what coconut tastes like. Maybe we're getting the crappy one that's not real because we're so damn cold they have to ship it for longer to get to us. Hypothetically, I just remember I tried actual coconut in the tropics and uh, it tasted terrible. I've had coconut straight off the tree and it's quite tasty. Okay, so we have it different opinions. very similar to what we have. We have different opinions on what coconut's like then. Coconut milk is lovely. 
What a fan. Oh no, this is a true proper delight. Oh yeah, this is this is blasphemy. American Smarties. Now, British Smarties are basically what Americans would call M&M's, but better than American M&M's. So, these guys are going to be all like, oh no. Smarties here are milk chocolate wrapped in a crispy, coated, lovely shell. M&M's, but... Yes. But with a different type of chocolate. Well, yeah. But for the American context, it's M&M's. Or if you're in America, go to Canada, try their Smarties, pretty much the same as ours. Yes. Canada gets the best of both worlds. Hello, kitten. She is trying to catch the sweeties. I had these before. I didn't like them. No one likes them. Why are they still in business? Oh my god, they smell worse than It's a cultural thing. It's like, why do love hearts still appear well, here? Like I like Nobody love hearts. actually likes love hearts. I yeah. like love hearts. They're weird. Gee. I admit that, but I still like love hearts. Stop trying to feed the cat sweet. What's she eating? The vanilla. She uh, likes the vanilla. No. You're not allowed to eat those. No, no, she, she's after the vanilla. <laughs> That's... These are terrible and chalky. And stop feeding the cat smarties. Ah, you haven't even tried it. I did. I got two of them. They're horrible. That's what she was after. They're horrible. I tell you. Ah. They taste like ah. the little violets we have as well. Just not flavorsome. Ugh. Parma violets are great. Wait. These are Canadian? That's odd. Made in Canada. Lol, Canada. Why Canada? Canada? I'm poison the Americans. Yeah, Canada's They're fucking with in. America. They export their bad Smarties and they keep their good ones. Ugh. At least close it up. No one's ever going to eat them. Neil might. Gee. <laughs> Can you stop feeding the kitten random sugar? She's well, hyper enough. Well, she wanted some of it. Okay. Well. Now we have. To now or later's That's cherry it. flavor. Um, can I choose later? No. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm honestly expecting cherry flavored chewets from these, okay. so I don't expect you to have much to say. <sighs> Artificially flavored, a product of Mexico. 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 Wow, that's the furthest south that any of your food foods come, Teddy. Hmm? That's the furthest south any of your foods come from. Not those goods from Israel. Directly? Israel is, is Mexico's further south latitude wise. Is it? Fairly sure, but we're on, we're on line with New, uh, Newfoundland and Moscow. Hmm. Hmm. I'd put Israel around the same level, uh, same latitude as Florida. But harder than Chewet. Yeah. Not very flavorful. Tell me if I'm wrong about this audience. Is Israel in the same latitude line as, uh, as Mexico or further north? I think further north. So, no. basically, yeah. Oh. Okay. Now we use a flavor very quickly. It has flavor, though, which is better than half the things I've eaten. And the glazing agent that Americans tend to put on their sweets is really prominent taste. And now we have these. I'm not entirely sure what they are because they're not really helpful in telling us what they are. For, so, these could be anything. This is probably peanut butter based, though. You feel sick, yeah. No, I'm just trying to get that taste on my mouth. Ooh, these look like little sucky sweeties. They look like honey. Oh God. They smell like mouthwash. <laughs> now, see, Omega Omega described Scottish cola from Maine as sounding like smelling like mouthwash, so this is vengeance. Seriously, smell it. If you can manage to open it. God, yeah. Yeah. Alright. It's a root beer type product. Fucking root beer. I hate root beer. It's actually not that bad once you get around the original um, mouthwash taste. This is the uh, extra flavor that they have in their soft drinks and everything, Colin. This is their bitter to iron brew flavor. They have root beer flavor. That is. There's a wonderful American sweet called Bottle Caps. And you get individual flavors. Now each of them tastes like a type of soft drink. You got cola flavor. You got orange flavor for the Americans. Americans, you got grape flavor. 
And you've got like lemonade flavor, things like that. You got root beer flavor. Nice. It's a pity we don't have it here. Now, root beer flavor is fucking awful, and I want to get rid of them, but they're this exact, it looks exactly the same as Coke flavor, so it's hard to identify until you put in your mouth. Oh my but, god. But bottle caps root are. Root beer a, and booze do not mix. <laughs> but bottle caps, I really think they should release that. It's a Wonka product. Release it in the UK, replace root beer with iron brew. Perfect. Next! How many more have we got? More. After these, there's one more thing. I don't mind that, that's nice. Uh, now we have Goldenberg's Peanut Chews. I don't know for sure, but I think this is a Pennsylvania one as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think you're just working your way up to start hitting us in the head with these. Well, it would make the audience laugh. Yep, Original. the Goldenberg oh. Candy Company in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I'd love to know what original dark is. Maybe there's other flavors now and they're not so dark. Uh, possibly it's, yeah, it's dark chocolate. These ones come and attack you at night? What? Dark. Are you being racist? Night is dark. You know what you were saying? These are dark. They're going to come and attack you at night. <laughs> Dark outside. <laughs> you, but uh, you can see why I screamed. Are you being racist? <laughs> you have a fucked up mind. If that's the first thing that came to your mind. <laughs> well, I didn't think you were actually being it, but I couldn't think of another reason for this. This is a dark chocolate snicker. Ah, fascinating. Yeah. Oh, these two have fallen in love. I do, I do kind of like that. No, we had dark chocolate Snickers here for a while. They were a uh, few ago. They were limited edition and they were delicious. Dark chocolate is the only thing I can stand in America because it's supposed to be bitter. So, um, mm. Omega, these guys like those things there. Peanut crunches. There's a couple more of them in the bag, by the way. Sweet dibs. <laughs> But, yeah, they were dark chocolate. Now we have some marijuana. What? What? What's illegal? Trish, not no one knows about it. See? Mary Jane. It's called Mary Jane. It looks like it's going to be like a blackjack or something. Woo! Ow. Ah. <coughs> Let's see, what we got? Yeah, mine melted. If you want a replacement, I think I might I think have another one. Melted, Nicola. Um, can't identify the flavor by smell. Stop in the eyes. Molasses. Hi, G. Oh my God. What, you don't like it? All it tastes is the glazing agent. So it's just, it's brown treacle. Oh, there we go. Now I can taste it. I do There are supposedly peanuts in this, but I don't taste fuck all in peanuts. I do like the way that, uh, that they have, that Teddy is at least really selling the fact that he's not liking this for the amusement of the audience. Wow, oh, Replace your looks of scorn with, uh, with screeches of some sort, Teddy. Oh. Or some sort of dance. Dance? I don't feel like dancing. I feel like being sick. Okay, gonna give you something that should be easier. Flavor roll, twisties, orange flavor. Orange? Yeah, it's just another chewity type thing. Yeah, I still got bits of that other one in the mouth. And because there's only one of these in the bag, as far as I can tell, I am going to try the now and later grape flavor. Oh, I like grape. Do you want it? No, you go ahead and have it. Okay. <clears throat> Orange chip? Orange chip. Yeah. Okay. 
now we have four more things left, and, and then we have one more thing, and then we're finished. Now and later is a little bit sour. Mm. Okay, now we have now and later. Oh, no, sorry, we do not have the same flavor here. I'm going to have to look for this again. We have another twisty thing, so this is going to be very similar, but this is lime flavor. Lime! Not key lime. Key lime's far better. My. Stop throwing things. Wow. What sound you made? I thought it was the cat. I was wondering what the hell it was. What sound? The lime thing. The high said. pitched lime. I thought what it was the lime. Hell is that? It's very green. All right. Green chip. This sugar, this sugar is making my headache worse. Nearly done. Do not attack the camera kitten. Alas, the, uh, they could not find another one of these for now and later. So what we have here is an apple and a watermelon. Do's an apple. Okay. You have a watermelon too if you want. Yeah. Now, eat it. I will if I can get it open. Eat it. She's going after your peeps. No! He's actually eating my peeps. <laughs> my peeps. <laughs> She's like some of the sugar <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> my peeps. No! <laughs> no! I think it you don't like? <coughs> no. My god, that was horrible. Um, it was a little bit sour, wasn't it? No, it's just the... It was extremely disgusting. Um, that was a... That was not apple, to my knowledge. This doesn't taste like any watermelon I've ever tasted. Yeah. America's gonna want to declare war on you guys. I hope you're okay with that. Um, Might destroy your next door neighbor's house with a cruise missile, though. If it's the asshole on that side, you'll be fine and you'll be happy. <sighs> what are you on about? They're gonna have to, uh, if they're aiming for us, they're gonna hit fucking Straban. That's true. And no one in Straban will notice that they've been destroyed. Nor will anyone else care. <laughs> okay, there's only three of these sets left, then we go into the final item. These. <laughs> These are shaped like peanuts, and they're bright orange. This could be a lot of things. It's probably peanut-based, though. There, we do not have enough peanut-based peanut sweets over here. You know those, like, flimpy uh, banana things we can buy? Yes. You can get them in peanut-shaped in America. I know, Cuts I was there. Peanuts. Omega, I when, we, when Omega was over, she was amazed to find bananas and shrimps in that in little bag of that. There's like every single one. Stop eating my sweets! All I taste when I first take it is the glazing agent. It's another of those honeycomb texture feeling things. Have you tried Yellow Man? Yeah, well. Yellow Man. Which, by the way, is not racist. No. It's not racist. Yellow Man is. A, I only discovered this when we went to the Giant's Causeway. It is, a, in fact, a Northern Irish confectionery. It looks like really, really hard and brittle sweets, but it actually tastes like honeycomb, and it's bright yellow. It was quite cool. Isn't Look, that just the inside of a crunchy? No, no, no. That's it's. That's just basic honeycomb. This imagine honeycomb if it looked like a Lego and shattered, and it was bright yellow. Okay. So yeah, don't do not like do not like to pe the peanut. Okay, now we have something I recall not liking. The sesame crunch. And if you put this just right, it looks like it's growing out of his torso. So it looks like Teddy has no head, but he's in fact half man, half sesame crunch. You're having too much fun with that. I would like to highlight that. The majority of my body weight is below my head, so it would not be half man. If anything, it might be 10 to 15 percent. Obviously, the sesame crunch goes right down deep into you. Can't open. 
This looks interesting. It, it, um, from what I can see, it looks like a peanut butter brittle, but instead of or peanut brittle even, but the sesame seeds instead of peanuts. It's like not the taste I'm expecting. It's sesame seed. What were you expecting? I don't know. Wolverine. I like this. This is tasty. There's a yeah, few more of them. Oh no no. There are a few more. Oh darn it. No, no, there's a few more of them, so she can have. The last of the, of the Brandon bag is another flavor roll twisty, this time lemon flavored. Um, okay. So while we're talking about strange foodstuffs, when we were waiting uh, to see uh, R.I.P.D. yesterday, we were waiting outside the cinema. We? Both of you? No, Colin wasn't there because, you know, I went out with some of the gears and Michael, ah. Wolfie. And Wolfie was standing there with his, his tray of nachos and nacho cheese. And he was talking about how he didn't, people were nicking his food and everything. So, me being me, I took a bit of popcorn and dipped it in his nacho cheese and ate it. It actually turned out to be delicious, so I ended up getting our whole group of six people just kind of dipping popcorn in <laughs> this nacho cheese while I stand in the lobby of the lobby of the What a poor dear. It was an interesting combination, especially with the salted peanut butter. Their popcorn even. Why is my head turned to peanut butter? I don't know, you've had too much of it. What did you think of that one, Teddy? Chew it. And lastly, M&M's with white chocolate and candy corn. Why didn't you give us those earlier? Because I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to be able to enjoy them now. Why? Because I feel sick. You can open the bag and then leave them for tomorrow. Yeah, but if I had those earlier, I would have enjoyed Jesus. them. Jesus! <laughs> no cheese! My sweeties! <laughs> oh, weird packet for M&M's. Yeah, that's the slightly it's bigger. It's like this hot chocolate in there. That's the slightly, that's one, that's like the sm second from smallest size you can buy in the USA. Gee. No, he's referring to the fact that it's stip, uh, dimpled the whole way around mm. instead of just filling things. So. Also, that is tall. All right. A white M&M. Uh, Stop eating my peeps! Yeah, I eat the peeps. My peeps. Oh god. It's very odd. It's very odd. Very odd. If I go into a coma tonight, I'm living in you. Manga. And Omega. I'm going to blame you. My sesame seed. Why? For eating them. You've got a bit of peep stuck to your fur. <laughs> <laughs> These are very odd. Mostly because it's white chocolate and an M&M. &M. Never had white chocolate m ms before? No. I have, uh... Yeah, somewhere. Okay. Unless I already ate them and I forgot about it. No, yeah, I did. But last uh, Christmas, I got given some white chocolate with with spearmint M and M's. There's no candy corn in this. It's just the colors. Nah. So everyone, Teddy is dead. The Avatar Decent and Jimmer is going strong, but we have run out of new and original things to give her. It's my sugar. I have managed to um, protect my peeps from a kitten. Well, barely. Mostly. Sometimes. But in a way, you two say your goodbyes. Bye bye. Goodbye, Internet. She, get off the camera. <laughs>